pressure is by alternately thrusting your tongue against the roof of your mouth, then pressing between your eyebrows with one finger. This causes the vomer bone, which runs through the nasal passages to the mouth, to rock back and forth. Hmm. The motion loosens congestion, and after 20 seconds, you'll feel your sinuses start to drain. So press your tongue, thrust it okay. oh. against the roof of your mouth, uh-huh. 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 Oh. And, pressing, uh-huh. and, then, and then press between your eyebrows with one finger. One finger. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Do I, I did no, I just keep pressure on there or do I punch alternate. it? Alternate. Oh, don't, don't punch. So I'm like punching no, the bridge of my nose? No, don't punch it. Just push your tongue. Okay. Now release and press and <laughs> Dude, I can't I feel like a tard. I can't I, do that. <laughs> look like one doing yeah. it too. <laughs> oh, here's another one. I'd rather you know Yeah, I can imagine. Uh, turn, can I say you'd rather that? turn Japanese. Yeah, I'd rather turn <laughs> Japanese. Heck yeah. Uh, that whole tongue and finger thing's way too much work. Uh, fight fire without without water, okay? Uh-huh, worried uh-huh. those wings will repeat on you tonight. Sleep on your left side. Mm-hmm. They basically say if you're worried about indigestion, sleep on your left side because your left side uh, left sides are less likely to suffer from acid reflux. Is that the, right? the esophagus and stomach connect at an angle. When you sleep on your right, the stomach is higher than the esophagus, allowing food and stomach acid to slide up your throat. When you're on your left side, the stomach is lower than the esophagus, so gravity's in your favor. So it says, sleep on your left side when you're afraid of acid reflux or some kind of issue uh, with the indigestion when you're trying to sleep. We've had that problem before. Too Which side do food? I sleep on if I've accidentally brought home a giant woman that I <laughs> sober up and realize I don't like? That's uh, just turn on the face blindness <laughs> and the ass blinders. <laughs> That's right. Uh, cure your toothache without opening your mouth. Just rub ice on the back of your hand on the V-shaped webbed area between your thumb and index oh, finger. What are we curing here? A toothache. Toothache. Okay. So uh, and there's ice now right there. And how about those Canadians? A Canadian study found that this technique by rubbing ice between. Uh, your index finger and your thumb uh-huh. reduces toothache pain by as much as 50% compared with using no ice at all. That's it? That's it. That's it. The Those... nerve. It says here the nerve pathways at the base of the V stimulate an area of the brain that blocks pain signals from the face and you hands. You know why the Canadians thought of that. No. Haven't you seen their teeth, man? That, that The whole national health care system they got there? No, it's all free, isn't it? Yeah, but... There's a reason it's free. You get what you pay for, Brad. That's right. Uh, Bear from Bear in the Morning did tell us that uh, he oh, yeah. doesn't get free medication, it's if like, I do recall correctly. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> teeth gone wild. <laughs> oh, it's horrible up there. Oh, God. Uh, here's the, here, this is a good one here. Stop the world from spinning. One too many drinks left you dizzy? Now, you're going to find this interesting. Put your hand on something stable. Now, of course, the theory has always been that when you've got the bed spins, uh-huh. you're supposed to uh, sleep with one foot on the on the floor. Okay. Okay. This says here that instead, just put one of your hands on a, on a flat surface. So you could actually be lying in bed sleeping, but put a table over by it uh-huh. and lay your left hand or right hand or whatever flat on a surface, and it will actually mm-hmm. uh, reduce the bed, the bed spins. What if the flat surface is moving? I usually just ask the juke to hold me and rock me like a baby. <laughs> Did you hear that question from him, though, just now? Yeah. What is he doing? Is he taking Rancho's spot this segment? I guess. God. Um, He's got a merry-go-round next to his bed. I'm the only one here that's been that drunk. No, no that's not true. No, I would uh, believe that. No, I don't drink. I don't. <laughs> Unstitch your side. If you're like most people when you run, you exhale as your right foot hits the ground. I never thought about this. This puts downward pressure on your liver, which lives on your right side, uh-huh. which then tugs at the diaphragm and creates a side stitch. You know what that little that, that pain feels like? I don't think like? I could ever do that. Yeah. So according to the doctor's book of home remedies for men, all you have to do is make sure you start exhaling as your left foot strikes the ground. I'm not sure how you could... That totally makes sense, though. It does make sense. Because that's where I always get it. Yeah. I'm good for three miles and then bam. Yeah. Suddenly it starts to hurt. So somehow you need to figure out how to exhale when you land on your left foot. I don't think I could do that. That'd be like that thing where you rub your stomach and pat your head. Yeah. You can't just do that. That's right? not easy. No. Or like with Juke, walking and chewing gum at the same time. Ah. I'm kidding you. What are you doing over there? Nanu, Nanu, Shazbot? What in the world? What? Oh, my God. He's doing weird finger exercises. Next thing you know, he's going to pull out his 20-sided dice. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Here's another here. Thaw your brain. Uh-huh. 
too much uh, ice cream too fast will freeze the brains of lesser men. As for you, press your tongue flat against the roof of your mouth, covering Mm -hmm. as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Since the nerves in the roof of your mouth get extremely cold, your body thinks your brain is freezing as well. In compensating, it overheats, causing an ice cream headache. So the more pressure you apply to the roof of your mouth, the faster your headache will subside. Now I'll know. I took the boy... To Dairy Queen this weekend, uh-huh. and he was, you know, eating it just as fast as he can shovel it sure. in. He had some chocolate, and uh, and I know he got a brain freeze because he started getting goosebumps, and he kept at. He goes, "Dad, what are these bumps on my arm?" Those are goosebumps, and then all of a sudden he goes, "I'm cold." Oh, I don't know funny. how my daughter does it. She dis- uh, the big tablespoon, just uh, a huge mound of ice cream, yeah. just shovels yeah. it in. Yeah, we did that same thing to my nephew at at a, at a at a buffet one time. Was we we had this big old bowl of ice cream. We said, "Come on, eat it as fast as you can." He didn't know what we were doing. He's like five, six years old. He just started That's shoveling cool. in. We're like waiting for the headache to start. Didn't happen. Yeah, little kids don't get that. Yeah, I thought they what's did. That, what's that little uh, hot stuff they give you at the Chinese restaurant? The, Wasabi, the, the little yellow looking thing or whatever it looks like. Oh, that is the hot mustard. <laughs> we so dead. a friend of mine's kid was. Screaming, had to have it, had to have it, had to have it. Wouldn't shut up. I said, give it to him. <laughs> Didn't affect him, did it? Oh, yeah. Oh, it did affect him? We left. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. And finally, this one, I think we, we might even demonstrate this one. Next time you're at a party, uh-huh. try this trick. Have a person hold one arm straight out to the side. Why don't you get up, Carl? Okay. okay. Right. Go on over here. In fact, we'll even do this on the camera here. All right. All right. Really something exciting. All right. Next time you're at a party, try this trick. Have your per- one, one arm straight out uh, to the side, palm down. Okay, and maintain this position. Then place, I'm going to place two fingers on your wrist. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, no, 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 no. Two fingers on your wrist, and I'm going to push down. Okay. Okay, and it says you're, you're going to resist, and you are resisting me. Okay. Now I'm going to have you put one foot on a surface that's about a half inch higher. So take uh, take your little mic stands here. Well, it's going to be take, take the cigar box there. That's going to be a little bit higher than a half inch, but that's okay. All right. Go ahead and put one foot up on there. Okay. okay. Got it. And then, uh, let's see, this time, uh, put your arm out again, like we had it before, okay? okay. And uh, now I'm going to... You see how you're... you're <laughs> oh, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, I see your arm. Your arm, your arm won't stay... Can't, you can't... Oh, I'm not trying to break your watch. But you see the point there? It says that uh, by misaligning your hips, uh, we've offset your spine. And uh, because of that, your brain senses that the spine is vulnerable, okay? So your, your brain... Oh, don't tell me you crushed the cigars. Oh, that's true. But don't change <laughs> something quite. So anyway, not, not quite you're yet. Right, though, I, so it, it, it realizes that the, that the spine, the spine is vulnerable. Your brain tells you that your spine is vulnerable. So when you're offset like that, it shuts down the body's ability to resist. Well, either that or you just got super strong. Could be a little bit of both. Yeah, I, I wanted to push down to make sure that you didn't resist. <laughs> we did have you higher than a half an inch, though. It may yeah. have been even better if you'd have been up. That was about two or three inches then, yeah. but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Not that I'm very that's much of an wrong. expert on that's, two or that's three an inches. an inch and a half. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Hey, Juke, you should do your finger exercises in front of the camera, too. You're out of cigars, <laughs> too, Juke. <laughs> so there you have it. Some, uh, some medical uh, miracles and quick fixes. A few things for you to remember in case you wanted to know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going right. to practice the whole sleeping thing, though. The left what, side, the, what, the right what, side. The, you, why don't you practice the running thing too, just to see if you can exhale on your left, left uh, step? Okay, I, tomorrow night I'm going to do some running after work. There you the go. I'll there. do that. There you go. There you go. Do what? We could bring the treadmill in. Oh yeah, oh, that would be we'll a good that. idea. Uh-huh. Fantastic. We'll do that next week. The hot Carl workout session. <laughs> That's right. Video yeah, tape coming right soon. after the hot Carl drum, drum clinic and, and, and hot <laughs> Carl's. Um, what, what was the other one? Hot Carl's dance party. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Let's take the break. We're going to close the show with one of our favorite things to do. We will be right back. Don't go anywhere. The Wild Wild West Mars Show will be right back.